everybody. I am so excited to show you how to make our new big fat easy wedding ring. It is such a joy to make, so fun, so modern, and you could do so much with it. If you love our current double wedding ring, you are gonna love this. And your panel is going to fit around uh, along a 22 by 18 a fat quarter and it fits exactly right on there uh, it'll also fit an 18 by 21 inch but you do want to be a little bit careful of that and uh, you can see how the curves are on that and how it fits so well here's the lines you're going to stitch on And you're going to stitch dot to dot right on the solid line. Now you can see that I've stitched one arc. There's four arcs to stitch. And then you're going to trim along the dashed line of all of the curves. On the arcs, you've got some curved lines which you can see along there. Those are going to be coming into play with the overlap of the arcs. And now we're gonna turn it right side out and you can just do this with your fingers. It's wide enough. After you turn it, you want to give it a good finger press. I'm just using a little ironing pad to do that, but you could also use a green cutting board or your thigh is a good one too. But that's what you don't want to do is have the interfacing showing. So you want to kind of tuck it just a bit to, to the back as you finger press. could use our applique brushing sheet, which comes in a row like this, and it's 36 nice inches long. And you can put your arc on here and the whole thing fits on if you want. This doesn't, this isn't a must. So, and then you could just give it a little quick press, not, not anything drastic. Okay, and I like to use it like this because it's a smile. <laughs> So here's our fat quarter and the interfacing is designed to fit exactly on the fat quarter. So you are going to take it, it's fusible and on the one side and we're going to be, end up fusing it. So you just place the corners of the arcs in the corners of the fat quarters overlapping as you wish. And I have it overlapped so that the left side of the arc is covered but you can do it however you want. Now the last one is going to tuck under the first one. 
So one is going to overlap the other in this design that I have. Now you are going to peel back one side and cut the side that's under and cut on that curved line that I pointed out earlier. And that's going to alleviate the bulk. It's going to go right under the arc that goes on top of it. And so you want about a quarter inch seam allowance there, maybe even a little bit more. So you're going to continue cutting and tucking under all four arcs. Fuse them down all around. You might need to reposition them a little bit and that's fine. Do that. Fuse them down and continue all around and then you're going to zigzag all the edges and your block will be done.